I'm back. What's going on everyone? It's Brainwitch Code You Find Jewelry, it's your personal jeweler. And if I have one hand, I got something in the other hand. I went from catching baby trouts as a sheep rancher in Wyoming to having big boy golden trouts in the hand. Check that out. Get a picture of that. I'm not sure how many pounds three kilos is, but one of you guys will figure it out. Drop a comment down below and let me know, and let's start this flat curve video. When I say flat curve, I know what some of you guys are thinking, these light, flimsy, um, spaced out link chains, not Jokoji's flat links. I looked very hard and was very persistent to get the best flat links that have the weight, that have the durability to them, because that is the standard with me. Of course, I'm a flat curve guy, my first chain. I love the flat curves. Most of you guys go into these big box stores, the fancy stores, and you see the chains. The goal, the strategy there is to sell you the lightest chain possible. Of course, there's no gram weight listed. That looks the biggest and is expensive. There is the big margin for these stores. That's what they're after. They're not after for a nice heavy chain. So the manufacturers in Italy or wherever they're making them or wherever they buy them from, know this they're obviously the biggest buyers so they they make the chains according to that they want to make the lightest chain possible for these big stores and they buy quantity and then you got a guy coming along like me that says no i want the heaviest chain possible it's completely backwards but my strategy is a little bit different so i just want to give that because these truly are very nice flat links i want to review the everyday kind of starter flat links four millimeter through five and a half millimeters now here's a side by side of the four four and a half and five and a half millimeter flat curves as well as a neck shot let's get us going on this review uh, my general recommendation the cardinal rule is every half millimeter or millimeter you go out makes a huge difference especially when you're watching these on your phone wherever these chains look bigger but for the four millimeter 10 plus grams it's not bad at all i personally would rather recommend a four millimeter flat curve than a two and a half millimeter rope i just think you're getting a better chain for the gram weight it's a very simple look a great starter chain and the 10 plus grams is nothing too light and it is kind of expensive for people that are just getting into a chain so you it could be something you have to save up for but if you're ready to go right now 10 plus grams for a four millimeter flat curve is not bad because you definitely get a decent subtle look something that you can get the side neck view when you tuck it in and you barely know you're wearing it again 10 plus grams for a four millimeter chain is very nice especially with this flat curve so the four millimeter is a great go-to starter chain next we have the four and a half millimeter now i'm a five and a half millimeter guy but the four and a half might be my favorite size or my recommendation to you guys if you're looking for that simple look, again, the rule is to go up a little bit just because the way they look on the camera and the way they look as well, something to grow into. The four and a half works very well. To me, it just has enough size to stand out right, but keep it very subtle. All these chains, four millimeter through five and a half millimeter are very subtle. Here I got a five and a half baby curb and two five and a half flat curbs and a three millimeter Franco. Yes, it's four chains, it's not that bad, but it's still a subtle look if I take one away the five and a half millimeter, um, it still just keeps it really subtle. This right here is what a lot of people go for, and that's a five and a half millimeter. So to keep it really plain and simple, the four and a half millimeter might be the job or do the trick for a lot of you guys because it, the gram weight's not crazy, and you get a nice look that just keeps it simple, a nice high quality gold chain look. Last but not least is the Braden Special five and a half millimeter flat curve, and again, just like the other two for the gram weight, I could not recommend another chain for the type of weight and price you're gonna spend. You're just gonna get the most look. Um, I'm gonna actually make a separate video just on the five and a half flat curve and give some better shots and more detail as to why that is one of the best chains money could buy. But these flat curves are really a bargain deal. Um, the price per gram, not so much, but the weight and the look you get is very good. Um, as well as the durability, these are really good chains. Nice solid uh, solder jump rings, very nice lobster clasps, and of course a great finish. They're all made in Italy, so it's a no-brainer deal as to why a nice Jokoji flat curve might be your best bet. If you're a link style guy like me, I'm not really a rounded guy. I have the Franco, but I'm wearing it, and I will reveal why I've been wearing it for so long, but it's not my first choice. I like link style chains. I don't wear ropes as far as like wearing them all the time. So the flat curve for me works. I like the style more than a Figaro, a Mariner, even though those are kind of relatively the same weight, but just a simple classic link style works for me. And the flat curves 
are a great choice because of the gram weight, the quality, the price compared to heavier ones and options out there. One last look at the flat curbs. A flat curb is a no brainer. My recommendation, go up a size just to fit right. But if you get a simple size, you can end up like me and just stack them and they look even better. So if you go four millimeter, get another four millimeter or go with a four and a half one day or whatever you wanna do. It all looks good. Just get that Jacoji gold around the neck. Thank you guys for watching. That's it for today's video. And we will see you on our next jewelry video.